Good morning, NCCP and friends. Good morning, Pastor Melissa. Hi, Pastor John. It's great to be with you all for this week's Yo NCCP as we talk about some things happening around the parish. I'm giddy. I'm yeah. giddy because there's more snow coming. Can you believe it? <laughs> Those are some powerful <laughs> prayers. That's all I can say. Moving right along. <laughs> this weekend around the parish, is uh, it's March already, and we're going to start a new series leading us all the way up to Easter Sunday. It's called All Signs Pointing Up. And it's going to be looking at some of the miracles that happen in the Gospel of John and the ways that they point toward Jesus Christ and his crucifixion and resurrection. So it's, it's really an exciting series because we've worked on it with a team of preachers, a lot of our lay speakers and also uh, Pastor not. John and, and me. And we've been working together to get this uh get this orchestrated so and you can work right alongside of us some great homework would be to just begin reading the gospel of john we're going to be looking at chapter two so maybe between now and then if you see this soon enough read chapter one that's right um and we're doing this all throughout the season of lent because of course that begins on wednesday with the ash wednesday service um, we're going to be uh, celebrating that at 7 30 we'll do the imposition of ashes but it's really going to be a beautiful service so i encourage you to come out to be part of that but of course the fun is tuesday night because we have shrove tuesday pancake suppers happening at grace and at green mount and then of course it was st john's uh, st mark's lutheran church will be hosting this week so if you want to get your fill before the season starts uh, there'll be wonderful opportunities to get out there and eat i usually go to all three pancake suppers and eat as much as i can but I'm not allowed to now. So unless the baby comes in the next couple days, I'm not going to get to have as many pancakes as usual. <laughs> well, a less fattening uh, way to participate in Lent is to read the book, Give Up Something Bad for Lent. And in this, this author, uh, Reverend Moore, is not talking about giving up pancakes for Lent. He's no. talking about giving up um, things that attack us spiritually in order that we can grow in our faith during Lent. Uh, there's information on our grow page of the website about how you can get a copy of the book through Amazon or Cokesbury. Uh, it's electronic copies and paperback, as you can see here, or you can contact our parish administrator. And it's really a great read. It's because it, you already read it. I read like, the whole thing in like ten minutes. You read it, <laughs> but it was it was really great. It has some wonderful references to some uh, cultural things, like the movie Rain Man and and the movie The Natural and and. Issues like apathy and bitterness, things that really pollute our lives and how we can give those up and also fill them with positive things that will draw us closer to Christ in the season. And what's great about this is the high impact event in terms of growing your faith and being dedicated to something through this season, uh, but um, it doesn't take a lot of your time. That's right. And you can study this on your own, but then there's also going to be an opportunity to come together for dinner on Monday Thursday before that service to just process it as as a group so it's kind of like being in a Bible study without having to show up every week uh, so you know that you're part of the community studying so. so the point is to try to include people that might not be able to give up an evening of the week in a Lenten study so please join us in that and I may even be cooking dinner that night so that's an a extra that is bonus always worthwhile so we hope to see you around the parish this weekend before the next round of snow, and we hope that um, you enjoy reading the Gospel of John right alongside of us. Grace and peace to all of you. God bless. Amen.